Hi, in this video of my GIMP 2.8 beginner's guide, I continue with another select tool, the foreground select tool. And this one can do a pretty good job in some cases. There is no assigned keyboard shortcut for this tool. It's right next to the scissors select tool. So when you select it, you can see the tool options. And some of them again are shared between other select tools and we have talked about them. The rest of the options here, however, are unique to this tool. Uh, the first one, contiguous, I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. Then we have interactive refinement. We have mark foreground, mark background color. By default, we have the mark foreground selected. Now, the way we make a selection with this tool is, as you can see here in the canvas, we get this icon, this lasso looking icon. We just click and drag and sort of outline the object that we want to select. Then we get this paintbrush, which we need to use to mark the object we want to select. Now with the mark foreground, we need to mark the object, the colors that we need to be extracted and selected. So just paint over it. You don't have to cover the entire entire object with the brush but just paint over different areas then release the mouse let it work for a little bit and you see now we have made the selection a pretty good selection to apply the selection we need to hit the enter key let's see how the object will look on a white background for example go to the select menu choose invert then edit fill with background color which is white and then to select none to remove the selection so as you can see the tool made a pretty good selection if we use a little bit of feathering from over here or we can use it also from the select menu feather we will get even better results i'm going to undo this with ctrl z and remove the selection Pretty easy to use, pretty fast, gives very good results, but only in some cases where you have a pretty big difference and clean difference between the colors of the object you want to select and the colors of the background, like it is in this case. I'm going to jump to another image over here, where if I zoom in, holding down the control key, turning the mouse wheel, you can see that some of the orange color of this flower here bleeds on the background and let's do the selection again we can also just click release and do clicks like that we don't have to drag like this close the selection then paint over the flower here let's wait for it to load and as you can see over here, we have also selected some parts of the background, if I zoom in. So as you can see in this case, even though the flower is pretty distinctive color uh, than the background, it's, we still don't have very good results. We can try to fix them with some of the options. For example, the smoothing over here, if I mouse over, you can see the two tip smaller values give a more accurate selection border but may introduce holes in the selection now i'm going to reduce this to zero and it actively changes the selection watch over here because it doesn't make that much of a difference especially in this image watch over here if i change it to eight the maximum you see some of the stuff disappeared so yes it makes a little bit of difference we have also color sensitivity and sensitivity for brightness components, sensitivity for red green and sensitivity for yellow blue. So let's try the yellow blue for example and reduce this to see what this is going to do. And it did, it did kind of make a better selection. You see over here some of the stuff disappeared. Let's try the red green component. Let's up this. You see now we uh, remove some of the holes here in the selection, but again we have these over here. So these do some effect on the image, but don't really fix what you want 
to be fixed you can play around with them or you can play around with the smoothing but you're not going to get perfect results another thing we can do is we can choose the mark background and go ahead and do a stroke with the brush over here and you see that this will remove some of these outside areas still it doesn't do a perfect job we can also add to the selection again change to mark foreground if we have some hole over here I don't see anything but let's zoom in over here we have so we can mark this and add it to the selection but this also added this part so overall these options they do affect the selection but they do not produce very good results and let's just hit the enter key to apply the selection my advice is that if you get an image like this where you are unable to make a good selection with the defaults even don't try to uh, spend too much time on uh, trying to make a perfect selection using this tool because you're going to waste a lot of time and still not get the desired results so there are images that is going to work really good and there are images that it's not going to do what you want it to do and there are other selection methods that are going to be a lot more accurate and high quality than this one let's see what other options we have here we have the preview color let's make a quick selection and we can change the preview color to red to blue which is the default into green so depending on the image what colors you have you may want to switch uh, between these you also can adjust the size of the brush right now you see the size of the brush we can make it bigger or we can make it smaller and to demonstrate this option I'm going to hit the escape key to remove this yes and what I'm going to do is go to the image canvas size and I'm going to type star 2 here and click resize this is just to demonstrate the option add an alpha channel to the image and duplicate it now grab it with the move tool and move it over here it doesn't have to be very accurate then go ahead on the top layer merge down so we have one image with two berries here and let's go back to the foreground select tool and uh, make a selection select all of these and now if we have the contiguous contiguous I'm sorry on and start painting over let's see what is going to happen we select only the one fruit over here because we have no connection between these two now if I hit the escape key make a selection again and this time uncheck this option and let's make the brush a little bigger and paint over this one this will select both of them so this is what this contiguous option does so bottom line is it's not the best select tool but in some cases it can be very handy because it's very fast and easy to use so I hope this video was useful if it was like it leave me a comment if you want to support my channel by making a donation you can do that on pledge.com link is in the description if you are new to my tutorials subscribe visit my channel for a lot more game tutorials and that's it for this one bye for now